focus to some latest visuals which are coming in. Uh, Mr. Sonkar, who is the person who is heading the ethics panel right now, is going for that very crucial meeting. We know Sonkar has left from his residence for committee meeting. Those are the latest visuals on your screen right now. What exactly happens in that meeting? There would be a voting that will take place. There are members of the opposition camp as well who are part of the ethics panel and the ethics committee. And all of that will be critical and important to watch out for. Uh, highly placed sources have told us that the ethics panel draft report runs into about 500 pages. And in those pages, there is damning evidence reportedly which has been found against Mahua Moitra. That's what has really come uh, to the picture. Let me cut across to my colleague Arun Dhanta. Arun, what is the expectation from this meeting? Just saw <clears throat> Ethics Committee Chairperson uh, Vinod Sonkar leaving from his residence to, uh, to Parliament to of course chair that meeting of uh, the Ethics Committee. Uh, and remember that it is going to be a very, very critical day for uh, Mahua Moitra because uh, remember as uh, uh, you know the, the source-based information about that uh, ethics committee's report which they will be adopting today is really raising some serious questions on Mahua Moitra. Uh, and in fact, we had spoken to uh, Vinod Sonkar related to uh, today's proceedings as to what is going to happen, uh, you know, and uh, you know how serious are the charges against uh, Mahua Moitra and he said uh, we have finalized it is now up to uh, Lok Sabha speaker to take uh, uh, the final call as and when he decides and he also of course uh, you know shed some lights on uh, uh, the, 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 the nature of uh, the allegations against Mahua Moitra and in fact uh, we are given to understand <coughs> that uh, committee has uh, will be recommending uh, rather the expulsion of Mahua Moitra from uh, uh, from Lok Sabha uh, and uh, it is going to be very important as to what is going to be the repercussion of it whether uh, the expulsion uh, you know will uh, will take place uh, from uh, this Lok Sabha only uh, or or perhaps uh, you, you know uh, she may ha may have some repercussions of it uh, in the in the in the next uh, Lok Sabha you know what is going to happen that is something which is up to Lok Sabha speaker and also importantly it is also going to be the discretion of Lok Sabha uh, speaker uh, whether he waits for the uh, winter session to come uh, when he tables this recommendation or report of the ethics committee before uh, the members of Lok Sabha or before that he decides on uh, this report. Of course uh, uh, we know the nature of uh, allegations which are on uh, Mahua Moitra uh, you know and, uh, some are, I'm some sure are calling Pyle it will uh, be able you know, to talk a bit uh, more about it. Security. Is that once the ethics committee submits its report, Pal please uh, come in on this and the procedure is going to be very important here. Once that report is given to the speaker's office and speaker adopts the report or decides to table it on the floor of the house, it's up to voting and the government has numbers right now, so it is likely to be cleared. The procedure that follows from here on and is there a time-bound procedure that needs to be followed? Uh, as far as the procedure is concerned, today the committee will adopt its report, send it to the Lok Sabha speaker. The Lok Sabha speaker will, of course, give in his final word because the Lok Sabha speaker eventually is the guardian of the Lok Sabha, guardian of parliament. So his word will be final and after which on the first day of the upcoming winter session of parliament, the government will bring in a motion and that motion will be to expel her. So that's where it really stands in terms of procedure uh, as far as Mahua's expulsion is concerned. Of course, the other battles is what Mahua will have to fight separately because there are complaints against her with the CBI. Lokpal has given its approval for CBI to investigate it on Nishikan Dubey's complaint. Jay Anand has also filed a complaint separately. And now the committee is also, as we are given to understand, in its recommendation said that an institutional probe into in-depth investigation is required as far as this matter is concerned. Hmm. Given the fact that we are talking about cash for query yeah. uh, scam over here. So, Pal, I'm going to go back to the nuts and bolts again. And the reason I ask you to highlight this again for our viewers is for the sake of clarity. I remember the cash for vote scam is something that we've spoken about. That is the last precedent, I believe, uh, I believe of 2005, when a similar action of this nature was adopted against multiple members of parliament. And uh, the Lok Sabha had voted on it. But the ethics panel right now, its composition, how many members of opposition does it really have right now? And the allegation that Mahua Moitra has repeatedly made in the public domain, that the procedure or the panel is quote unquote rigged. You know, the BJP Anusha has been in power for the last uh, 10 years or so. Before that, it was the opposition which was always in power. Even then, the numbers were stacked in their favor. So, there's nothing which is so 
or chattering as far as that is concerned. The party which has the numbers, eventually in parliament, whether it's to pass a bill to stack it them in the committee, it's all the it all boils down to numbers. There's no chemistry; it's only mathematics that really, really works over there. So as far as that is concerned, that's the argument. Having said that, there are five or six MPs in the opposition rank in the 15-member parliament uh, committee of for ethics. Out of which, uh, you know, many MPs have been very, very vocal in their defence as far as Mohan Mohan is concerned. You've seen Danish Ali, you've seen, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, Mr. Mr. Yadav from the JDU. Uh, you've also seen Uttam Kumar Reddy amongst the others. They had all walked out with Mohan Mohan in the last meeting. But unfortunately, today, <coughs> uh, you know, for the opposition side, uh, uh, Uttam Kumar Reddy is busy with his nomination in Telangana. He's not going to be available. We were told last time around when we spoke to Pranit Kaur that there was a death in her family. We don't really know whether she's going to show up or not. Yeah. As far as the BJP is also concerned, one of the members, Sunita Dugal, has had a tragedy in the family. Yeah. So it will boil down to numbers. But should there be a tie? Should there be an interesting contest which happened last time around? Mm. On the yeah. first day when you know the MPs wanted to vote, if at all, you know, Mohua should have been summoned first or Darshan Hira, or, or Jayanand or Nishigan Dubai should have been summoned first. It was a five all tie. It was a tie of uh, both sides had five votes each. And in that case, Sonkar was able to vote because Sonkar is the chairman. Yeah. And as a chairman, he has a, he's a, he has a title, uh, he has a right uh, to vote uh, two times. He has two votes, one as a chairman and one of course as a member of the committee. So that's where it really stands. The numbers are also stacked, you know, against Mohan Mohutra at this point in time. Several MPs would have sent in their dissent notes. Uh, in fact, Uttam Reddy would have, was going to send his dissent note uh, this morning to the chairman. Also, you know, Mr. Vetheringam, who's another member of parliament from the Congress party, he would be sending his dissent note. And also a dissent note would be sent in by the CPI member, uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. P. R. Natarajan. So obviously that's the dissent note with which the committee will be adopting its report and sending it to the Lok Sabha speaker. All right, pal. Uh, please stay with us on the broadcast. We'll talk more about this. The procedure is important because in the details of the procedure lies the devil or what will happen moving forward. What is Mahwa Moitra's defense? What has she said so far? She has said that all MPs give their login ID and password to others. It's true. But you give it to your support staff. You give it to people who have a job to do. You don't give it to your quote-unquote friends. Uh, Darshan Hiranandani is not a stranger, but why did you give it to her? That's the question that was put up to her. And is it really proper or appropriate for somebody to do that? There is no proof to show any kind of quid pro quo. Yes, this argument particularly is important because to establish any kind of quid pro quo, you'd really need to establish that she got some kind of material gains. And those material gains for because she compromised the office of the member of parliament. That's difficult to prove. Hiranandani and Adani are not competing. She said that because she's spoken against a particular corporate house on multiple occasions, on repeated occasions, that is why this witch hunt is being done against her. There is no proof to show that login led to the anti-PM stance or any kind of positions that she has taken on the floor of the house. She has said that so far all the allegations of corruption that have been made against her are unsubstantiated and is a mere witch hunt. That's the argument that Mahua Moitra has really put forward. Now, as we move forward and talk about other arguments that have been put in, the corporate nexus is something that Mahua Moitra has often spoken about. She has been vocal against multiple business houses and because these are allegations that have not been proven in a court of law, they may be defamatory to repeat on national television. But she's made it in public, she's said it in social media and her argument is that because I've been doing so, that's why I'm being targeted right now. Let's move on to another set of uh, information on a set of graphics that we get for you. The ethics panel has pulled up Danish Ali. Why have they pulled up Danish Ali? Outrageous behavior by BSP MP Danish Ali. He is somebody who spoke in favor of Mahua Moitra repeatedly. Uh, the ethics panel has also said that uh, impending the work of the ethics panel, he was impeding the work of the ethics panel and he was not allowing the proceedings to happen. Objected to the chairman Sonkar's questions. We saw that walkout that happened by Mahua Moitra and Danish Ali violated Rule 275 of the Lok Sabha rules. Uh, clearly, Danish Ali and his conduct is not appreciated. The rule deals with the confidentiality of the proceedings and these proceedings uh, had to be kept confidential and that did not happen. Let me uh, cut across to Arun as well. Arun, when it comes to the conduct of Danish Ali, what exactly is the ethics panel saying? Well, see, as of now, the information that we have uh, is that uh, Ethics Committee has uh, taken the behavior of uh, Danish Ali very seriously uh, and perhaps they will also recommend action against uh, the, the behavior of uh, Danish Ali. A, they are saying that uh, the way uh, Danish Ali, in fact, raised questions 
on the chair of the ethics committee which is uh, of course uh, 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 you know vinod sonkar in this in this regard and the way he spoke to media and specifically what commi uh, committee uh, you know is saying is that uh, the lies that he spoke before uh, the media was something which was uh, not in uh, good taste and therefore uh, we will see that uh, the committee will be recommending an action against uh, danesh ali in this regard so we'll have to see as to what is going to be the reaction of lok sabha speaker because he is the one he is the last person who's going to decide on of course uh, mahua mohitra and also danesh danesh ali but one thing is very clear that uh, uh, the, the committee has taken it uh, very seriously because it was danesh ali who in fact uh, raised those uh, questions on on the speaker and in fact when we asked uh, vinod sonkar about this uh, uh, he said that you will find details about uh, about uh, danesh ali in our report and also of course the allegations which mahua mohitra has been uh, throwing on uh, uh, vinod sonkar about the the question that he asked uh, asked asked her and he's saying that you have all the detail each and every question that i asked her or the response of mahua mohitra is part of that uh, detailed report and that will be submitted and you will get to know about uh, what mahua mahua mohitra uh, has said and how uh, she lied about all these things so not only mahua mohitra but also uh, danesh ali's uh, danesh ali is in trouble uh, but what is going to be the action against uh, against uh, against danesh ali that is something which will be very very interesting whether he will be uh, suspended for a uh, few sittings of uh, lok sabha or what is going to be the action okay. uh, that is up to the recommendation and uh, what is what what are the points for that recommendation by the ethics committee before the speaker so on that basis the decision will be taken and also importantly because remember uh, today uh, in few minutes from now the meeting will start danesh ali will also also be a uh, part of uh, this meeting uh, and remember that when this report will be because it has already been uh, uh, been given to all the members of the ethics committee yesterday when they will sit today they will discuss uh, this report and if there is any uh, problem any question to the any member of the ethics committee they will raise it before the the committee before the chairperson of uh, the committee and then accordingly of course the discussion or whatever needed will be done so we are expecting uh, you know some sort of uh, uh, heated arguments perhaps perhaps will take place uh, during this meeting and in fact uh, uh, in fact uh, we have already we have already seen that uh, what danesh ali has been saying to me right. and how mahua yes. mahua moitra has been reacted to that information which has come to light uh, from uh, uh, from from the from the basis of uh, sources all right tarun dhana getting us all that perspective uh, let's